Well, it's time now for our Friday Sports Report, and here's Sonny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hi, Sonny. Hello, Vincent, and sporty seasonal greetings to our Africa 54 viewers. National Basketball Association superstar Kobe Bryant recently announced that this will be his final season with the Los Angeles Lakers, a team he has led to five championships. Kobe's announcement is giving fans across the league an opportunity to say their goodbyes when he and the Lakers visit their cities. The two-time Olympic gold medalist and 17-time NBA All-Star made his final appearance here in Washington last week. VOA's Park Brewer attended the game and he filed this report. Playing in the nation's capital on this night in his 20th and final NBA season, 37-year-old Kobe Bryant showed many of the skills that have made him one of the NBA's all-time best players. Whether he plays at home or on the road, he has legions of followers. Here in Washington, that was no different. I've been a Lakers fan since day one. Since day one, since the first championship, I've been a Lakers fan ever since, man. Kobe fan for life. Joshua Bailey said it was the best gift ever when girlfriend Adrian Good got them tickets for this game. Just a, a, a great end to a great career. You know, I think it is time for him, you know, to end. But, you know, I mean, you can't say enough about his legacy and what he meant to L.A. and just for the fans, you know. We can't expect him to continue to go on and on. So it's just an honor to see him um, play for this last time. And to, it's just a great experience. But I, I'm glad he's retiring. Everybody gets a time. Very few professional sports stars stay with one team for their entire careers, especially when others offer them more money. Loyalty, um, you, you don't see that in players, uh, you don't see that in football, basketball, you don't see none of uh, that kind of loyalty in any of those sports, but uh, it, it's been a blessing having Kobe on the Laker team for 20 years. And seeing him make amazing long distance shots like he did throughout the game against Washington. He said afterward, it was because he felt excellent physically. When I have my legs, you know, I can go through that shot and I feel very comfortable in that shot and stopping and pulling up. Um, so, you know, once I knew I had my legs, I felt pretty comfortable going to it. Kobe Bryant is expected to play before sellout crowds as he plays his final road games around the league. Afterward, he said he surprised himself how well he played, leaving the Lakers with 31 points, double his season average, and scoring what proved to be the game-winning shot in a 108-104 to victory over Washington. I was thinking about that in the locker room. I was thinking, you know, what did I do differently? It was just something, and uh, I still don't know. His coach, Byron Scott, also was pleasantly surprised. Well, I, I don't know, you know, how many more performances you have like this, but I expect him to play you know, with that type of passion that he plays with every single night. You know, I don't know if it'll be these type of outcomes, but the one thing I do know is he'll give it everything he's got. And that's all fans can ask for from Kobe Bryant as he says farewell during his final season. Park Brewer, VOA News, Washington. Here's another sunny side of sports salute to the NBA's hottest team, the Oakland, California-based Golden State Warriors. The defending champion Warriors in the yellow jerseys go after their record-extending 24th victory in a row this weekend when they play the Celtics in Boston. It's the best start to a season in NBA history. The Warriors are also eyeing the record-winning streak of 33 games in a row set by the 1971-72 Los Angeles Lakers. Because Golden State won its final four games of the 2014-15 regular season, the NBA officially has the Warriors carrying two separate streaks right now, 23 games for this season and 27 games overall. No matter how you look at it, the Warriors have been playing some great basketball. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. I'm going to dribble the ball back to Vincent McCorry. Yeah! Here you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Sonny. <laughs> Be sure to watch the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on Africa 54. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com for more news. Tune in to VOA's evening radio show, African News Tonight. At 1800 UTC in the morning, still they break Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us here in Washington, have a good night.